Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today, guys, we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, we have received another update, guys, and it is super exciting. So I am here on the solo game because the angler has finally received a TLC pass, guys. The angler can now, at long last, harvest silica pearls. So we are headed down into the ocean. Um, on our basilo here, we're gonna find an angler. We're gonna tame it up. Um, there are also a lot of other changes that have come in this update, so we're gonna go over a few of those um, that we can't really show off very easily while we try to find an angler to tame. Um, and then we will uh, probably just like talk about a few and then uh, summarize some and show off the ones that we can. Looks like we have some ammonites down here. There's an angler. This works out super well. All right. So uh, the number one thing that has changed, guys, um, this angler is going to be super angry, and I am fine with it. Uh, let's go ahead and just whistle passive real quick. The spyglass now has a torpor meter. So you can see this megalodon has 1472 torpor. Um, <laughs> this ichthy has 642. It's beautiful, guys. I'm so, so excited about this. Uh, let's actually go ahead and like save my shark and basilo here. Just my basilo. Now I am using uh, God console sheets just so that I can kind of show this off a little bit um, easier and more quickly at the moment. All right, let's go ahead and just knock this guy out real quick. Anglers are a pretty easy tame. There we go. They are just a knockout tame. Um, and then I believe all you really need to use on them is meat. So let's go ahead and like save my poor Basilo here real quick. And just eat all these things. Luckily we're immune to most of it. All right, let's go feed this little guy while we still have some health left. All righty, grab a little fish meat. And I believe you can use a regular meat, fish meat, um, any kind of meat really on these guys. It's uh, it's not too big a deal. Obviously, um, prime meat is going to be a little bit more effective. But really, all you want is just any angler, preferably a high level one so that it has high melee. Because if you have high melee, it will gather more pearls, which is fantastic. Um, so now the spyglass has a torpor meter, so you can see that, which is absolutely amazing. So if there's any creature around that you need to like um, basically measure the torpor on, uh, for instance, if you're trying to tame like a titan or if you're trying to tame any creature that has a lot of torpor, a giga perhaps, you'll be able to see just about how much torpor you're doing per hit, which is fantastic. I'm so excited about this. Um, it's going to be like a very, very useful tool for taming in the future here. All right, how are you doing, buddy? He's about to take his first bite here. Perfect. All right, so this is going to take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and spawn in some biotoxins so that you guys uh, don't have to wait for this too, too long. Um, I'll kind of keep an eye on him. There we go. Uh, all right, so um, a few of the other changes that have come that I can't really show off at the moment are... Um, basically chat improvements. So tribe members and allied tribe members now have different colored names in chat versus having um, all of the same color, which is gonna make it easier just to remember which chat you're in and whether the people that are talking are your allies or are your tribe members. Uh, now there's also a custom welcome message available on unofficial servers, which is fantastic. You can kind of set this custom welcome message. So every time someone logs in, um, there's a special message that shows up so uh, you can see basically server rules or anything like that, which is super handy. Now there are also some single player improvements. So if you go ahead into um, your single player menu here, there's this new button above the tidy save button called manual save. And if you click that manual save, it saves the game automatically. So like if you crash or something, you'll roll back to that spot. Um, it's basically the same as the autosave that happens every 15 minutes or so, but now you can trigger it whenever you want to, which is uh, very handy in my opinion. So I'm glad that they added that button. And you can now also redeem promotions that appear in the in-game store 
directly in the game without having to enter a multiplayer server, which is fantastic. So like, I've already claimed the August loot drop here, but if I hadn't, I could click on that and I could claim my primal pass loot um, just in the single player game, which is super, super handy. That is, that is really nice because before you used to have to log on to a multiplayer server and then, um, yeah, redeem it in single player and it was this whole thing. So it does, it does help quite a lot having that um, be a big change. All right. Um, now there's also some tech improvements that I'm not going to super show off, but I'll mention them here. Uh, the effective radius of the tech generator is now 1.6 times the size it was. So it was originally, um, it was okay. It was kind of large based on the, um, based on the tests that I've done with it, but it is, it is an expensive generator. It takes a lot of element to, um, to make. It takes a lot of element to run. And so they did increase the range on that, which is fantastic news. That means you can reach more of your electric items with that generator and uh, have to worry less about using more fuel or building a second generator to cover an area that you might've missed. So very, very cool change. Super excited that they made that adjustment. Um, they've also added gas mask functionality to the tech helmet. So now you will be able to take your tech helmet into the swamp cave, which is great. I might actually do that um, because I hate taking my regular gas mask in. Uh, I don't like the screen it shows. And um, let's see, there's, there's a bunch of other like little fixes that have come along, but I'm gonna go ahead and mention those later. Uh, we're gonna get this guy tamed up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like speed up time for him here and I will bring you guys back um, in a few minutes when this angler is ready to, to ride and to show off his new abilities. So I will see you guys in just a minute. Okay guys, so we are back. The angler is now up. So we're gonna go ahead and hop on. Now anglers do not need a saddle. Um, you kind of just hold on to I guess it's basically nothing on them, right? But uh, I would assume it's some sort of like spine or something. So you kind of just like lay on the back of the angler and go along. Um, and then you do bite with them. Now, anglers are not something I've tamed before on mobile because I didn't see the point, specifically because they could not harvest silica pearls. And now that they can, they're going to be much, much more useful. So the idea here is to um, basically go along the bottom of the ocean until you find an area where there are a lot of silica pearls, such as right here. Um, and then let's just go ahead and bite these. Yes, beautiful. All right, so this is not a ton of silica pearls per bite here, um, which you can see just based on how much I'm getting. It's about 25 or 30, which is approximately what you get with um, picking them by hand. However, with an anglerfish, you can increase the melee damage and that will increase how many um, silica pearls you get per bite. So there is potential if you tame a high level anglerfish to tame, like to be able to collect a lot of silica pearls in a very short amount of time. And also silica pearls are just really common on the ocean floor. So it's really easy to find them, really easy to collect them. And uh, just generally it's, it's kind of a cool situation. Hello, Mosa, what level are you? Actually, oh, I can't pull out a spyglass. Big sad, let me see. Level 15, he's kind of trash. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and head back up here. Now that I've kind of like showed you guys what the anglerfish is all about, there's really not a lot to these guys. They're kind of cool. They do have like a mini, mini light source that they carry around with you, so it's not super, super dark when you're on them, which is great. Um, but overall, they're they're really meant for harvesting silica pearls. That's their only purpose on PC, and now it's also their purpose on mobile, which is fantastic. I love it very much, and they are super ugly, as you can see. Um, but yeah, they're a fun creature, and I do recommend uh, checking them out, especially for gathering silica pearls. They're super, super useful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and like rescue my Basilo here. And then we'll take you up top, guys, because there are a few more changes here that I want to kind of show off on cam. So I guess I'll go ahead and bring you guys back in just another minute here. 
Okay guys, so the next set of improvements that have been made in this update are that you can now actually tribute extra boss dossiers, these extra notes that you get from defeating the boss. Um, they're kind of like trophies. Um, you can actually now tribute these to get element. All right. I love it, it goes through the whole tribute process um, and it gives you one eerie element as you can see here, per extra boss trophy. So all of those extra boss trophies you've been collecting that have just been kind of piling up, you can now tribute those and get one extra element every time you run the dungeon. Now it's not a lot, but I am very, very happy that you can do that because one element will power like a generator or something like that for eight full hours. So I think it's definitely worth doing. Um, even though it's not a ton, it is definitely way better than just wasting those trophies or throwing them away. So I do recommend doing that as soon as you are finished running every dungeon. Um, now there's also new text that pops up whenever you go to fast travel. Uh, so you see this, it'll say, are you sure this will drop your inventory? So it's just a nice little warning text for people who didn't realize that fast traveling would drop all of your items. Uh, you now have a little bit of a notification, which is fantastic. Um, let's see, if you get pushed under the dungeon map, you will get popped back up now, like they fixed that. You will keep your items, you won't die, you'll get popped back up into the room you were in, and uh, all will be well and good, which is, which is just honestly so nice. Like, I think that was the last really, really big um, dungeon bug that they were still struggling with on multiplayer servers, so, so that's really great. Uh, it does happen on single player, but it's not as bad in my experience. Okay. Yeah, I'm so excited, guys. There are so many quality of life improvements in this update. It's actually hard to even list them all. Um, I will go ahead and show off one more that is a very nice single player fix. Uh, let's get back over to the hidden lake here so you guys can kind of see this because it doesn't super work on flyers. But essentially, when you used to use fly on your creatures, um, you would turn fly off, land your creature, and then you would have this problem where the creature would continue to fly, like it would just lift off the ground and start flying around. And now, I can turn fly on, I can run around in the air, which is fantastic, I can like throw fireballs in the air, which is great, um, and then when I go to come down and I land by taking fly off, I hop off, and the creature stays on the ground. It's wonderful, it's amazing, it's beautiful. I will no longer lose any creatures that I try to um, try to make fly. They will all land properly as they should uh, and continue to be firmly grounded once you've landed them. So that is a really nice change. That's been a bug for a long time. I'm super glad that they fixed that one. It was fun, but it was also incredibly annoying to have to try to chase down your creatures to get them to land properly. And now you don't have to worry about it at all. Um, let's see, what else here? Oh man, there's so many. Um, alright guys. So the next really big thing is going to be probably the Arthro TLC. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch over to a multiplayer server so that I can show that off. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys back in just a quick second here. Okay guys, so we are back and we can now show off a couple of the things that are happening on multiplayer servers as well as um, what the Arthros are now capable of, which is fantastic. So, if you take a quick look at the chat, um, you can see that some people are highlighted in purple and some people are highlighted in like a light green color. I am in a brighter green color because I am an admin on this server. Um, but yes, so, global chat is white. Allies are in this beautiful purple color, and then tribe members are in that um, lovely green color. So you can now tell who's just your ally and who is actually your tribe um, in the chat, which is fantastic. That makes it super, super easy to keep track of who's who. Now, we also have this beautiful Arthropleura that I've just tamed up. Uh, he's very, very weak, but that is okay. He will do for the purposes of this video. So Arthros have gotten a TLC pass, guys which is fantastic news for everyone on a PvP server because Arthros can now damage um, metal, tech, and stone structures, which is 
that's just honestly amazing. So um, I did have someone unally me real quick so I can go ahead and show you. But there it is. Uh, we can actually damage metal and do a decent amount of damage to metal um, with a very, very small amount of melee. And this is not even a strong Arthro, and we are just wrecking this metal floor here. So it's actually awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it so, so much. This is going to be great in PvP, guys. Just, like, keep this in mind. You'll be able to just bust through things um, relatively quickly as long as you can get past the turrets. Now, the Arthro does now receive more damage from explosives and ranged attacks. So if you try to, like, use bows or guns on these guys, they are going to take more damage than they used to. Uh, so that is that is definitely something to keep in mind as you're trying to use these Arthros to go around um, and destroy structures. It is quite fun, though. I'm very much enjoying that I can destroy metal with these guys. Uh, it's, it's definitely super powerful, and I think it was definitely needed to have a creature that could do some damage to metal. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see. What else do we have here? Just a couple of things. Um, the Sarko can no longer be picked up in PvE. Um, let's see. The Cubozoa Multis, the jellyfish boss, now actually drops its boss dossier because there was a bug in single player where you weren't getting it. So now you can get it next time it runs around. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, patch notes are no longer served on repeated launches of the game after the game update, so you won't see them all the time, which is fantastic. Looks like we'll get another base to destroy here in a second. Um, Chronicled Implants will no longer revive as wild, which is great news. And then Titanosaurs are no longer able to be chronicled, which is um, very, very good news for PvP servers, just as an FYI. All right. And then Mailable Gifts now also have um, new options. So if you go into your gifts area here down by mailboxes, um, the gift should have some new items in the loot table, which is uh, definitely awesome. This has now major soothing bombs, aerial symbiotes. Um, the toys have been added, as well as a gold collar, which is great, and some of these other um, some of these other really good items. So I'm really excited that they've updated these loot tables to include some of the newer items that you can get from uh, from the in-game store. You can now also get by giving gifts, which is Honestly, it's good. It was definitely needed, um, and I'm really excited that they've decided to go ahead and add that feature to the game. All right. Unapply me. Unapply me? I guess that works as well. Oh, man. I'm so excited, guys. This is, uh, this is honestly amazing. I'm going to destroy this base, this tiny little metal base. crawling all over it. It's beautiful. There we go. All right. Ready for this? Bam. We're going to kill it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Actually, I bet we could get through the door a little bit quicker. Now, Arthros are still, like, obviously one of the slower, more clunky creatures to use, but, um... Definitely very, very cool. I'm so excited that they can actually do damage. Look at this. This metal door takes, like, nothing to hit through now. Oh my goodness. It's faster than using explosives by a long shot, and a lot more cost-effective, guys. So Arthro's new favorite thing on PvP. Definitely want to use these things and uh, basically destroy everything. Um, oh, and one last item, guys, before we end it off here. Uh, tech structures now have their crafting reduced by half. So instead of costing... 10 element per craft, uh, you can now build structures with only 5 elements. So that's still a lot, but it is a heck of a lot less than it was. So now tech structures are uh, potentially feasible on the game, which is amazing. So we will be doing some tech building at some point um, and getting a little bit of a, having a little bit of fun building a tech base. And we'll have to check out the new height limits and stuff because I'm sure tech has its own unique height limit as compared to metal or stone structures or wood structures. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end it off there. That was actually uh, super amazing that we can get through and do all of that. Um, basically just like 
completely decimate these structures, which is, honestly, it's, it's super powerful, it's super amazing, and I love it a lot. All right, guys, so that is the freshest update that we have. It is absolutely amazing, lots of quality of life improvements, many, many happy things in this update, so I hope you are um, enjoying it as much as I am, guys. So, if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.